Hello everyone. I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dr. D, Diane White Clayton, and I am super excited to present to you some amazing young ladies. Well, before we get started, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get to know them a little bit. And of course, many of you already do, maybe just know one of the two. But earlier, uh, last week actually, we did a little video where I asked the girls to tell me something about themselves because I wanted you to learn a little bit about the artists. So hold on just a moment while I share that with you. <laughs> this is called an experience in humility. So I am going to allow at one point the girls to talk about themselves because my little pre-video is not working. Isn't that lovely? I am a vocal coach and these two young ladies have really brightened my life. I met both of them really just in the past year, maybe, well, Gwyneth in the past year or so, Willow, uh, maybe two years. And they both are amazing talents that if I were a betting woman, I would say you were going to hear about them on the big stage. You will see them in the charts, all of that. Not just talented in terms of singing, but talented in terms of acting and just wonderful people with wonderful parents, wonderful families. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining us today and for bearing with me through a few little technical challenges. With that said, we're gonna go right into our first song. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Gwyneth is going to begin, Gwyneth Lloyd, our first artist, and she'll sing a song that I wrote many, many years ago and actually recorded on both my recordings. It's a song for kids, but I've done it with adults, but she's going to start this first segment, which will be worship songs, and it's called The Love of God. I want you to welcome with me Gwyneth Lloyd singing the love of God. The love of God is endless. The love of God is strong. It brightens up the darkest nights. It lasts the whole day long. It heals the broken hearted. It eases every pain. The love of God is one sure thing that'll never go away. The love of God is endless. The love of God is strong. Bright to up the darkest night. It'll last the whole day long. It heals the broken heart and it eases every pain. The love of God is one sure thing that'll never go away. Open up. Job. Beautiful, beautiful. That was
was awesome. Our next worship song will be by our second artist, and that is Willow Chambers. This song has actually been recorded by several artists, but the first one to record it was the one along with two other people who composed it. So this song is called Jesus at the Center, and it was composed by Israel Houghton, by Micah Massey, and by Adam Ranny. And it is one that is such a, it's such a beautiful piece. And it really speaks about perspective in a person who has Jesus at the center, as the, the title says. So I want you to put your hands together and welcome singing Jesus at the Center, Willow Chambers. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. be the center of it all. Jesus, be the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, nothing matters. Nothing in this world will do. Jesus, you're the center. And everything revolves around you. Jesus, you. Jesus, be the center of Nothing else. 
Beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Don't turn your camera off right now. I'm going to actually ask you a couple of questions and I'm going to have Gwyneth to come back on the camera now. So what we talked about earlier. Hey, Gwyneth, how's it going over there? Wow. <laughs> so I want you guys to just tell everybody a little bit about yourselves. And then Gwyneth, I'll give you a second to while I introduce your next song to gather yourself again. So um, I'll start with you since you just ended Willow. So tell everybody how old you are. Um, well, I'm I'm a new teenager. I just turned 13 like a month ago. So I'm yeah. in life. <laughs> Join the teen life. Great. And what grade are you going to? I'm going to the eighth grade. Nice, nice, nice. Gwyneth, how old are you and what grade are you going to? I am nine years old, about to be 10, and I go to camp. I'm about to be in fifth grade. Oh, wow. Your birthday is really soon, huh? When is your birthday? Uh, July 20th. Wow, both of you had birthdays kind of close, so you just sort of went into a new realm. Um, Gwyneth, tell me your absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world to do. My favorite thing to do is hang out with friends and family. That's like my top thing to do. Oh, yay, family, family, family. You have a wonderful family. I've only met four of them, but they are just amazing. Willow, how about you? What's your absolute favorite thing to do? Um, just like Gwyneth, I enjoy going on like trips and hanging out with my family and friends as well. Yay, family, 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 me too. <laughs> so, um, let's see, how long have you guys been singing? Gwyneth, how long have you been singing? I want to say about a year. Yeah? Okay, well, wait a minute. Maybe, <laughs> go ahead, what were you going to say? I said about like close to a year, a couple months. <sighs> Probably studying about a month, I mean, about a year, but um, a little birdie, namely your mom, told me that you've been singing actually since you were like out of the womb, right? Instead of going, Wah! you were going, Wah! no, just kidding. <laughs> so you've been singing since you were little though, huh? Yeah. Do you remember when you started? No. <laughs> Willow, how about you? How long have you been singing? Um. Well, I started in 2018, like taking real singing lessons. So about three years. Oh, but you too, you were singing before then, huh? Yeah, it was kind of a secret though. So nobody <laughs> knew about it. So how does that look? Does that mean you were only singing like in your room when nobody was around or in the closet? or Yeah, in my room and also in the shower too. <laughs> And I heard your mom, your your funny story, another mom story, was your parents heard you sing for the first time at like this big production and they didn't even know you had a solo. Is that right? Yeah. So basically, um, I used to go to Impact Conservatory and um, I've been going there for a while now, but I never really had like a solo or lines. So this one year um, they, they asked me to do a solo. And I told my parents and they didn't really think anything of it because I wasn't like big on the singing scale. And then when I did the solo the day of the performance, everybody was all surprised and shocked. Wonderful. I was actually there. It was wonderful. So Gwyneth, what's your biggest dream in terms of music? Now, I already know both of you want to do more in music, but if you could just have a dream in music, what would it be? Probably to become like either a rock, like a rock star or something. Oh, I love it. Is that your favorite rock star? You want, I mean, rock and roll? Yeah, I, well, I like different genres. You do. But if you could have a dream, just any one dream in music, it, the first one would be to be a rock star, huh? Yeah, and then probably the next one was to be a country singer or something. Oh, a country singer. Wow, love both of those. Willow, how about you? What's your biggest dream in music? Um, in music, probably to become a recording artist, to get a Grammy. Um, and in terms of genre, probably, I really enjoy R&B a lot. So that, that would be the genre. 
Wonderful. Oh my goodness. Well, big hand to both of you. Everything's going great. Willow, you can go ahead and turn. Actually, both of you can turn your cameras off and I'm going to introduce while Gwyneth gets ready for her second selection. So again, if you've joined us, thank you so much and be sure to chat it up. Say all wonderful things about these girls. They'll see your comments later, of course, but I really, really appreciate your presence, whether you're watching it live or watching it afterwards. So our next segment is going to be musicals, musical dramas, musicals. Oh my goodness, there's so many, 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 many musicals that people love over the course of time. And this next one, oh gosh, is probably one of my favorites. I, I remember watching this over and over and over as a kid and even into my adult years way back now i wasn't born this time but way back in 1939 is when this musical cinema as it was called was released and it was none other than the wizard of oz so arguably the most famous song from the wizard of oz of course is what we're going to bring to you today so i want you to welcome well, I think Judy Garland would be pretty proud of her because she's gonna represent her piece well. This piece writ written by Harold Arlen, but made famous by Judy Garland and of course recorded later by many, many artists. So would you put your hands together right where you are and welcome back Gwyneth Lloyd, who's going to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That was lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Gwyneth. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going still into the theme of cinema, or I should say of musicals, better said. This one, much, much later, it is from Annie. 1982 is when this 
musical came out. And again, probably the most famous song from Annie, Tomorrow. I want you to put your hands together and welcome back Willow Chambers singing Annie from Annie, Tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow There'll be sun Just thinking about tomorrow Clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow Till there's none When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely just stick out my chin and grin and say, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow, come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none when i'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely i just stick up my chin and grin and say, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow, come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, you're always a day away, to Willow. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. These girls are killing it. Ah, oh, wow. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Willow. As she gets ready for her next piece, I want to give you a little bit more info. So what I love about working with these young ladies is that they are inspiring and they are so willing to learn. I often get the question, how early should a person take voice lessons? Well, it really depends on a lot of different factors. So I don't have a specific age. I actually did not start taking voice lessons formal voice lessons until college, but I was doing a lot of singing. I was um, in choirs and singing with my sisters. And so I was getting training during that time. So if you have a young person and you're just wondering what, you know, like when do I start them? And oh, is it too late? Should I have them in private lessons? If they're the ages of Willow or Gwyneth? No, you don't have to. The main thing is to have them doing some kind of musical experience, of some kind of vocal experience if they are uh, singing lovers. So you want them to be in a choir, you want them to be in a 
like summer camp. It might be a little bit too late for that now. But any kind of singing opportunities that they have, you really want to encourage that, especially formal singing opportunities. It's one thing to just that they're singing at home all the time, but they need to be singing where they're you're sure that they're matching pitch and 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 singing community, all those great things. And of course, yes, to study privately, that's great too. So are you ready for the next section? Well, our next section is um, one that we're going to have a little bit of fun with and maybe you're going to move a little bit. So we're going to change the pace. We're about to go to have a little touch of Americana. So at first, um, when you think of Yankee Doodle Dandy, you might think of this song that you heard when you were little and um, you might know all the words, but guess what? We're about to kind of turn the tables on that. So this Yankee Doodle Dandy, Gwyneth and I spent some time together and I said, hey, let's do something different and fun. And we're gonna take the words um, add some new verses and Yankee Doodle's gonna do a few different things. So be sure to pay attention to the lyrics that you hear because you'll hear something that's a little bit different, all right? Okay, so check it out. I want you to put those hands together. Are you chatting it up, chatting it up? Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Chat it up and make sure right where you are, just make some noise. And if people say, what are you cheering about? Tell them to go to the YouTube link later and watch it because these girls are fabulous. So welcome back, Gwyneth Lloyd singing my rendition and what we kind of put together of Yankee Doodle Dandy. Take it away, Gwyneth. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Mind the music and the step your Yankee Doodle Dandy. Mind the music and the step your Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee
singing this last song. Oh my gosh. You had so much going on. You had candy, you had mac and cheese with the Velveeta. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. How do you feel? How do you feel? Um, I feel amazing that I <laughs> just did that. <laughs> Are you like, I can't believe I did this. Yeah, it's honestly really surprising. <laughs> you know what? For your first recital ever? Oh my goodness. I am amazed. Take another bow. Take another bow. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Take a break. We're going to bring you back for a final bow. But now we're headed to another fun song. And this time it'll be with Willow. And we're totally going to a different era. Absolutely. So this one, now we're looking at the early parts of, uh, early parts of R&B really. And you may know of this great group led by a teenager. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to surprise you. And depending on how old you are, you might be singing these lyrics with Willow, would you welcome back Willow Chambers on her final song, Goody Goody. So you met someone who set you back on your heels. Goody Goody. So you met someone and now you know how it feels Goody goody, so you gave her your heart too Just as I gave mine to you And she broke it in little pieces Now how do you do? So you lie awake to sing my blues all night Goody goody, so you think that love's a bell of dynamite Hooray and hallelujah you had it coming to ya, goody goody for her, goody goody for me, and I hope you're satisfied, rascal you. So you met someone who set you back on your heels, goody goody. So you met someone and now you know how it feels Goody goody, so you gave her your heart too Just as I gave mine to you And she broke it in little pieces Now how do you do? So you lie awake to sing in the blues all night Goody goody, so you think that love's a bell of dynamite to ya, goody goody for her, goody goody for me, your love has been denied, you've been taken for a ride, and I hope you're satisfied to ask for you. Oh yes, oh yes, goody 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 goody. Oh my goodness, got the blues and everything. Wonderful. Oh, Willow, take another bow, take another bow. Woohoo! How do you feel? Oh my gosh. I'm you feeling pretty good. The recital was really fun. <laughs> well, it was certainly fun for us. Man, Gwyneth, why don't you come back on? Willow, take one more bow as Gwyneth is coming back on. Oh my goodness. Willow, I'm sorry, Gwyneth, you as well. Take another bow, take another bow. Wow, everybody is just hollering right where they are. Hollering, hollering, hollering. One more bow, ladies, one more bow. Oh my goodness, I wanna thank everybody that's watching. How about we say thank you to everybody that's watching, huh? Thank you. <laughs> All right, and I want to I want everybody to see your meet your folks. So I think your folks should be nearby. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Yay, yay, yay. So let me first, I'm gonna pin. So I wanna see the Lloyd family. So let me spotlight you guys. Hi. All right, so mom, wave your hand, wave your hand, mom. Dad, wave your hand, wave your hand, dad. Little brother, wave your hand. Grandma, wave your hand. Oh. You got some beautiful.
beautiful flowers there. Oh my goodness. Take another bow, Willow. Take another bow. Yeah. 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 Don't go anywhere, um, Gwyneth. So I was just setting my stuff down. Oh. Willow, did your folks make it in? Are oh, they? Yeah, they're in there, right? They're now. Almost... <laughs> perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yes, yes, yes. They were in another part of the house. Um, so yay! Everybody's cheering you on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there they are. Yay! <laughs> wonderful job, wonderful job, Gwyneth. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. Wonderful job. Oh, thanks, Mom and Dad Chambers. Oh my goodness, I know you're proud. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Yes, please. I want you to take another bow, Willow. Take another bow. <laughs> Wow, so girls, I am so incredibly proud of you. Thank you. And all I can say is you did it. <laughs> so for those who are still watching, your last chance to write something in the live chat, because when they're done, when they are, have a chance to take a breather, whenever they're ready, they're gonna actually get to watch this. And I would love for them to see your chats. You guys, um, both of you gave some incredible, encouraging words at one point for each other. So I really appreciate that. Um, both of them in our lessons, just was talking about you. Gwyneth was talking about Willow and Willow was talking about Gwyneth and like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. That's amazing. And how cool it is it to be able to have somebody who is in the same field and who's another kid singer who's encouraging you. But they also gave, do you guys remember? You gave some um, final words that were your inspirational words. Do you remember what those were? I do. Um, Okay, I'll remind you. So Willow, you go with what yours were. Um, so mine was to always say motivated and find things to motivate you so that you won't like lose hope in working on your craft and your singing. Yes, absolutely. And Gwyneth, I'll give you a little hint. Yours was when you said, well, I think I can do it. Just like, oh, it's like, I know I can do it. Like you can do it. Yes, yes. And so that's their words to you. Whether you're a child who's singing, whether you're a grown up, be motivated, find your motivation, and know that you can do it. One more time, give it up for my beautiful. <laughs> Take another bow, girls. Take another bow before we end this lovely broadcast. I love you both so much. Big, big hearts. Oh my goodness, if it wasn't COVID still, I'd be hugging him and probably like squeezing him till I couldn't breathe anymore. So yes, we are gonna do our air high fives. That's how we end our lessons. So air high fives, air high fives, air high fives. All right, so everyone, again, thank you so much for enjoying this time. We hope you enjoyed it with us and we ask you to stay tuned, stay connected to these families, um, follow them on Instagram, follow me and I'll help you follow them. But God bless.